Oh my god. I because celebrities are renowned for going beyond with their antics. The 90 Day Fiancé Tell All is one of the most eagerly awaited segments of the program. The Tell All is the cast reunion from the 90 Day Fiancé series. This is a chance for all the stars of the season to get to know one another. In addition, presenter Sean Robinson spends the whole Tell All posing all of the naughty and intense queries that come up over the course of the show. Couples' emotions frequently hit an all-time high when they remember disputes and other unpleasant moments. Consequently, disagreements resurface and partners disparage one another. The unique reunion is all the more tempting because stars are also prone to embarrassing themselves to the fullest. There is no lack of crazy moments in the 90-day fiancé tell-all, which has gained popularity over the years due to its wild antics. These are the top 10 most unexpected tell-all moments, along with the reasons behind each one's selection. Stephen Johnston and Alan Shea had an ambiguous connection to begin with since the Mormon cheated on her, even though they were exclusive. But in season three of The Other Way, Stephen traveled to Russia, Alina became a Mormon, and they were married. Further evidence of Stephen's dubious behavior surfaced during the tell-all, proving that their marriage had no effect on his maturation or way of thinking. Apparently, following an altercation with Alina, Stephen recently messaged upwards of nine women, the ladies were encouraged to submit nude images by his foolish interactions. Stephen tried to flirt by sending back images of himself protruding his long tongue, which he said he didn't know how to utilize. Alina was informed of her husband's wrongdoings by the woman who provided her all the screenshots, but he had one more shocking revelation. Stephen wanted to participate in a threesome with Alina and was having trouble with sexual regression. During this tell-all, Stephen's lack of regret and responsibility, combined with his pressure to go out on a threesome after cheating on his wife, made for a very shocking scene. It's difficult to select just a few of Angela Deem's most outlandish moments, particularly from the tell-all. It appears that Angela's personal objective in the franchise is to outdo herself, and she's really good at achieving her objectives. But one moment in particular demonstrated just how vulgar the Mima could get, in the perfectly ever after. Tell All in Season 6 Michael Alazami's family, criticizing her decisions infuriated Angela. She forbade Michael from using social media or even glancing at the strippers during his bachelor celebration. She flirted with her gorgeous plastic surgeon, with whom she felt it was okay for her to attend his party. Michael and his family were not content. Angela ordered her husband to stop talking since she didn't want to hear it. The family became increasingly incensed expecting her to respect her husband and become more like a normal Nigerian wife. Regardless of her husband's cultural background, Angela had different ideals and refused to submit to him. She dramatically undressed to demonstrate her point, telling his family to treat her like a brand new asterisk asterisk git asterisk asterisks. Danielle Jbali and Mohammed didn't appear to get along. Although Danielle was utterly enamored with Mohammed, it was evident to everybody but her that he didn't share her feelings. Throughout their time together, Mohammed seemed incredibly uneasy and declined to kiss her at the altar. He pretended to be religious, but their relationship always seemed contrived. He also disclosed that they never consummated their marriage during the 90-day fiancé season 2 tell-all, setting up more shocking revelations. Sean was perplexed, but after some research, she discovered a serious detail about Danielle that would alter the franchise's perception of her. It was discovered that Danielle was smelly and had even spat on him while they were having sex. Mohammed made an extremely disturbing and intimate confession, which caused Sean, the other actors, and the audience as a whole to go insane. It appears that Mohammed does not appreciate the odd golden rain, in contrast to Gino Palazzolo, 